Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight uh, we're going to back, uh, we're going to get uh, a little western tonight, so saddle up boys, grab your uh, your favorite uh, hat and uh, kick your boots up and let's watch a, a knife video. But with all these uh, stag knives that are coming out, I have one that has stag also. But I kind of wanted to go over our little uh, stag skinner, our little bird and trout knife uh, from uh, Rough Rider. And this has got the uh, stag handles on it. I carried this thing all, all weekend long. And I'll tell you what, it carries like a dream because it's so small and so light. You don't even know it's there. And I was wearing it on my belt uh, all weekend. And it wasn't until uh, last night that I asked my wife, I said, did you notice, you know, that I'm carrying this fancy knife on me? And she goes, I didn't even know you had it on. And so, you know, she hadn't even noticed that it, it was there. It just kind of disappears, which is nice. But I live in an area where uh, wearing a uh, uh, fixed blade knife on your belt is not uncommon. And it's certainly not, uh, not against the law. So, in fact, uh, had an interaction with a uh, with a policeman. He noticed it uh, right away, but uh, he didn't say a word one way or another. Uh, we got in a little uh, fender bender. Everybody's okay. Car's damaged, but uh, insurance will take care of that. Anyway, since we were doing stag, I, I brought out uh, my Texas jackknife because this is kind of, like I said, with uh, Roper being all about cowboys and everything. And I love this little Texas jackknife, and he hadn't been out for a while, so... I thought I'd just bring him out real quick. You know, he's got a, a nice uh, clip blade, and then it has a, a, a nice uh, pen blade on it also. But this uh, Texas Jack, certainly one that uh, is a really cool pattern, one that I have to thank uh, Mark Kaufman. Uh, I didn't even know this pattern really existed until he did a couple videos on finding his grandfather's uh, Texas Jack or being handed it down to him and then he had a uh, a newer one that that he's gonna pass down to his kids so that was pretty cool and uh, they come up every every once in a while but uh, this case uh, Texas Jack uh, definitely a, a cool knife if you uh, if you like one but we're here gonna talk about Roper knives and it's always fun to do a little bit of an out unboxing here so we'll show you how it comes. It has this nice little sleeve board, which we've seen before. It's got the 1065 carbon steel blades, American Buffalo knife and tool, and the little roper symbol out of the rope. And this is uh, American Buffalo knife and tool presents roper knives. There's a little cowboy in all of us. Yes, there is. And then uh, again with the uh, 1065 you got your little warranty and, of course, the uh, cancer warning. Kids don't eat your knives, especially in California. So it is it is bad for you. Here's the uh, one we're looking at today, the RP0002SG. And this is, let's get this stuff out of here. A little... Stuff will get all these out to the side. I do like how it comes wrapped in paper and in plastic. Wow. And this is the Roper Laredo Trapper. And it has uh, stag and wood handles. So this is a full-size trapper. So this is your four and an eighth inch closed. Really, really beautiful. Uh, the way they did the handle. I like the wood and the uh, the stag. This is a uh, black coated stainless steel spacer. And this has a stainless steel bolster and cap. And we have our 1065 blades. Let's take a look at those. Oh yeah, that's a really nice uh, clip. I like that. Yeah, this is really good. Let me get a little... A little cleaning cloth here. And we'll take that. Yeah, this is nice. I like how this fits. This is a really nice knife. It's got a little bit of a little ding there. It's not a big deal. 
that's one of those ones that you can put a hot iron on with a wet cloth and get that. It's a little gritty in the pivot. It needs to be cleaned, but as you saw, we just unwrapped this guy. Really nice spay blade. I like how they do the, the spay blades on the uh, roper knives. It's really uh, just a little bit of belly and, and that really, the blunted edge goes all the way down to there. It's all, it almost looks like one of those, uh, you know, the uh, Japanese uh, cooking knives in a way. It kind of reminds me of that. But uh, yeah, what a beautiful piece of uh, stag. It does have a color filled uh, roper emblem. So it's darker in the back. So the roper knives, the proud part stands out a little bit better. Not too bad. A little, uh, might need a little buffing on the stainless steel, but I really like the grain in this wood. That looks really good. Here's our back springs. And I don't see any kind of gaps in there. Maybe just a little bit here. Yeah, you can feel these transitions with the wood, but that's not anything that I would be too concerned with. My wood is going to move, that's for sure. So, yeah, there you go. Here's a look. We'll see if we can look at the uh, blades. It doesn't really show up uh, very well in this light, I don't think. But uh, or maybe like that. They're certainly not uh, not rubbing. So, there you go. I couldn't really tell, but I can hear that grittiness. But yeah, that'll be easy enough to clean out. That's just a little bit of leftover stuff. Another look at that blade. We'll take another look at the clip. The pull on it is very nice. No half stops. Uh, not a bad trapper to add to the collection. They also make a uh, Laredo Stockman, if you like a Stockman pattern better that also has the wood and the uh, stag. But I just thought it'd be nice, uh, you know, we'll have a little bit of extra stag out here with the uh, case and the and the Rough Rider. So there you go. That's it for this one. Uh, guys, let me know in the comments exactly uh, what you're thinking about this trapper, if you like it, if you don't. Uh, if you have any thoughts on the other two knives, uh, the Texas Jack or the uh, Small Stag Skinner, uh, that would be great. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.